In this video, I'll explain how to create a executable shell file that you can use to launch Jupyter Notebook in the Mac operating system. I've created a shell file here. So in this shell file, it has three different lines. The first line tells the shell to actually run in the bash interpreter. The second line is where my files are going to be. So I currently have a lot of my Jupyter Notebook files and my Google Drive in this path down here. When you change the directory to your path, you need to, you can put your tilde here, which points to your home directory. Then after that, you can put your apostrophes around the path if and that's necessary if you've got spaces like this in the path name. So Google Drive has a space in it. So you can't put this dash in front of the tilde, but you can put it after this, uh, after this forward slash, and that way it will be able to handle the change directory and go out to where my notebooks are going to be. And the last thing that you need to do is have this line where it actually launches the Jupyter Notebook and it will launch it in that directory. It'll wake up the console and launch the notebook so that when you go look in their browser, this is the directory that you will browse in. So that's what's in that file. You'll notice here that this file, it's not an executable file. And we can show that by getting info and when we bring this up then, we can see that this file has read-write and read-only capabilities. And there's no way to make it an executable file in this get info dialog. So what we need to do is we need to use the terminal to be able to do that. So I'm going to open up the terminal app and we will go look at this file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the attributes of that file in terminal. And what we see here is that the very same attributes, the first three characters say that we have read write and not execute. And then for me, and then at the other levels, we have read access. So we need to get executable access. We have to do that in the terminal by doing chmod 700. And then that file jn, that will make it an executable file. Now when I do this and select this, you'll notice if you look back here, then this changed to an executable file. Now, let's go ahead and test this. If we select this now, then it wakes up the terminal. So here it woke up the terminal and took me to the directory where I need to be. Now up here, it just takes me to the localhost tree, but this is where my Jupyter Notebooks are. And I can make a new one or I can open up one of these notebooks right here. Now that I've made this an executable file, if I want to be able to just launch it right from my dock, then I can move it over here on the right hand side of my dock. It does not have a dot app extension, so I can't put it on this side, but I can put it on over here. So that's how you do it in Mac OS.